just had to cut the cord in, I'm out of breath. Um, just get under this tree a minute, it's a bit cooler under there. Um, so also there's been threats to uh, knock my back out, smash my ribs up, uh, knock my fucking spine out, um, smash my back up, uh, take your fucking back out, uh, fucking wheelchair just you fucking child rapist. Um, and uh, so I'm not fucking scared of you, being said. Also, I'm fucking ready, shouted at times. I'm fucking eager, said. This is turning ugly, said. And obviously, I'm not very happy about this information being said. So I started audio recording it from about midnight, doing some recordings, but um, I haven't checked them. On one, appear on one period, I actually fell asleep for a time as it was occurring and uh, when I woke up I noticed the noise was so bad um, I kept that recording because it was occurring when I woke up but I haven't checked it I don't know what's on there yet um, I'm not actually sure if I managed to capture any of the shouting and the aggressive uh, shout you know the aggressive type shouting it's possible I don't know I need to check that recording when I was asleep but I won't be, be able to do that now um, going out today is uh, you fucked up you're going to lose your fucking life to them. But uh, a couple of threats to shoot me dead. Uh, that's another one that occurred quite frequently last night, incidentally. Um, saying that you fucked up. And uh, while passing roadwork workers walking down to where I am now, I'll just keep that sound a minute. Um, uh, um, fucked up, squirrel, squirrel you off. Knife you dead, sick cunt. And someone shouted, shouted Sven Schroeder. But take into account that person's name was shouted at me and then there was another threat that occurred on top of that um, I'll keep you updated on anything else that occurs today I want to mention the temperatures not so much the sun because the sun's out every day regardless but the temperatures today are quite literally you're looking at 27 degrees Celsius I'm absolutely soaking wet in sweat just walking up to here Right, as far as the setups go today, I'm eating at the moment, it looks like it's about 70%. So it's dropped a little bit. But as soon as I cross that road, I notice the setups are suddenly increasing. Nailing me as a sick bastard and telling me that I'm supposed to fancy an old fucking fogey. And that if I don't fancy an old granny, on a simmer frame, that I'm just fucking sick. Loud bikes to erections. I've been calmer the last couple of days, but they're incre increasing at the moment. While trying to eat, I need to set up a catalytic converter to, to choke me out with a catalytic converter that smells like raw vinegar mixed with rotten eggs and like the smell of cress being rubbed against two stainless steel knives, except about 50 times stronger. They're, they're, they're doing the catalyst, I forgot to mention that, and I get a bit pissed off of the setups that are occurring now. Right, just a quick update, I forgot to mention last night. Obviously I was taking pictures of the um, uh, um, the building and I couldn't get the pictures because it came out of focus and you had the blue skies and everything else stopping me. It did turn out to be quite a nasty um, evening when I was walking back. I did predict this on the video, that uh, when I go back at this time in the evening there's always trouble. Where well, there was. Uh, I got past the corner where I live and some people started on me there but it didn't get too out of hand until I walked past they thought I was Seven and they said I was going to kick his teeth in and fucking smash him out and knife him right here right now. When I get to the top of the road, because I bypass my place because I go to see Tim who's a friend that goes to the um, Kingdom Hall which is a place. I'm not religious as such but I do like to make friends with new people especially when you're feeling very low and been started on all day. I didn't fancy going back because I knew it was going to kick off because the, the behaviour by the neighbours at my place is on the increase again. So I went there, as I was walking on the top part, some bloke slowed down in the car, black car, black BMW, and uh, he took a photograph of me and uh, then he drove off. I didn't manage to get his registration plate and all nothing like that because I don't know who he is but he did, um, it did seem suspicious, um, whoever it was. Um, and then there was another person, also in a black car, that did exactly the same, who was coming from the side street as I was just about to reach the Kingdom Hall. Um, so that was that last night, and then obviously we had the trouble overnight, which I mentioned with the neighbours, 
and uh, threats to blind me and all the rest of it to take my sight away and whatever using energy weapons. So we've had all that mentioned. So I've had to leave um, a message for the social worker or whatever, who's a support worker, who's like uh, someone that's uh, you have when you, uh, you know, whatever. Um, she, which she, I messaged her basically to keep a long story short. Um, while coming up here, a lot of confusion on this. I'm, I'm just feeling confused today. I've had to stop the recording because I've had to redo it because I lost my bearings of what I need to say or what I think and what I need to say. But basically, coming down here a few minutes ago, there's a lady aged about 25, which is obviously younger than this Lauren that works in Tesco's. This Lauren that looks, uh, works in Tesco's looks very similar to um, Britney Spears, but more towards the... There's a girl, actually, that has a rapture dream on YouTube called Amelia. Amelia and Laura, I think. And she's, um, I think she's seven or whatever, so she'd be about nine now. And she's one of those that is connected to Jesus Christ. Um, and whatever. And she talks about... She had a YouTube video listed, Jesus Give Me Fruit, and another video on YouTube. So this uh, Lauren looks basically similar to that, but as an adult. Uh, very nearest like, description that I can give. Anyway, um, so um, I knew her in 2016. She was trying to sort of, in some ways, trying to trap me up, I guess. Yes and no, it's hard to say. But before you know it, I was being mistaken as this Savan. She, uh, well, Liam as well, and uh, she she fell out with me because of it. And then I uh, started giving devious looks, and it just went all over the place. And then I was getting threats by everybody else in Tesco's. And in the end, she fell out. She got in a relationship with this Michael. She had a child, a ginger-haired boy. And then obviously that's it. If you if you if I walk past her, it wouldn't be safe to say anything or do anything. You just have to walk past. And she'd give an evil look probably. Um, I can't remember what the last thing is she did. Anyway, I was getting threats when I was going to Tesco's as well, by the way, after 2018 area, and it's getting aggressive, vicious and nasty by everybody, and they were thinking I was Savem when these threats were occurring. Which I've mentioned is already in my life story pack, Deep Depression, or whatever you want to call it. It's, it's called Deep Depression, and I've not changed the name as such. I just changed it to my life story pack and just named it a bit different from there on. Anyway, there's a painting that looks like this lady where a little boy is holding a torch in a notepad um, down a track like this that looks identical to this but it's a sexual erotic picture where this lady that looks like Lauren is shining a torch down on this boy uh, shining sun down on this boy uh, like a sun curse basically well, in some ways, that's going against me because I've not had anyone in my whole life. I'm not going to get anyone. They stopped me getting anyone and everyone's too fussy about the age gap because of snobbery. And also, if it comes to black people, they moan about my white skin. So, just like the age. So, there's nothing I can do there. Age and skin colour is a big problem amongst the community. And I'm not going to get anyone. It's too late. It's fucked my life up. So, why don't they just do a painting of someone that sexually abused me as a child trying to interact... Uh, Shining into sundown on me instead because I'm not going to get anyone rather than the sexy lady. Because if they're going to do that, why are they going to keep on bringing the sun out where, where I'm walking? Obviously, the sun's gone in for a minute because there's a little white cloud that's passed. But as you can see, as soon as I stop this video, it's just coming out. See, I forgot to mention the um, second lady that passed me. Um, I just get the paper out. Um, she said, um, Sick cunt, Justin. Beat, beat you up. No, being beat up or something like that. And then there's um, been a few loud bikes tying to an erection in the last 10 minutes since I did the last recording. Right, it's about 7 minutes since I did the last recording, talking about this Lauren. Um, so, I've had one person walk past uh, as, a, as a female, roughly age about 21, something like that, young adult, and she's just told me I'm a sick cunt and that I'm Justin and that I'm being beat up. Yes, my name is Justin, but usually people are mistaking me as Liam and Savannah. And there's been a couple of loud bike issues as well, tying to an erection. And this is the first time the sun's gone in, I've noticed, when I do the recording. So they're trying, like I said, they're doing it on purpose. They do it when I'm trying to photograph evidence of problems. They're causing the sun to go in a few seconds. And then when I push stop on the camera, or when I stop the photograph of setups or whatever I'm doing, they cause the sun to come back out again. 
to make it to go to be disguisable about it. But the other thing that they're doing is um, if I'm going to take a picture of a street light, they reverse it so they bring the sun out so when I'm trying to take the picture, they cause the sun to come out. Or when I, like yesterday for example, when I went to Wilchester, they decided to open the sky up or cause people to be around the building where I wanted to photograph to stop me photographing the building. Even late in the evening, as dusk and nightfall fell, just before I got the 7 o'clock bus back or whatever, a 7.20 bus back from Wilchester to Yeovil. The, 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 way it, the way it was done, they're just stopping me to get a picture. They're very clever about it. All I could do is photograph the two windows at the top of the building with a struggle. That was it. And even that didn't come out great. Keepable, but not great. Right, you see that house down there? Obviously it's the 13th of the 10th, 2023. So this was back in September or early um, whenever, October. Um, it's difficult to speak when I've got all the traffic around me, but uh, this bloke was aged about 18 to 22. So he was tough build, very muscular, rough looking, with a similar appearance to one of the neighbours that uh, doesn't get on with me. Um, but basically what was happening is he was enjoying sex with a girl aged about 10. I don't exactly know the exact age of the girl, so it could be aged 11, 8 or 9, maybe 12. I, I don't know, but it's in that area. So whatever it was, that person was... Uh, shagging this uh, girl child um, so when we get past that um, there was a load of setups and I think it's the day I had all these setups negative and very bad when I was walking back home but just thought I'd mention it I've just come from the graveyard and I've been started on uh, someone saying that I'm gone well I made it past um, the um, uh, the graveyard where that person said gone as I passed basically and a couple of other things and uh, obviously I've just passed uh, uh, being choked by a catalytic converter uh, by that specific van that I just uh, filmed and a photograph taken of me in the process and I had to move across the road at the same time while being choking out by rotten raw egg uh, vinegar and rubbing uh, crest between two stainless steel knives except 50 times stronger type smell choking the fuck out of me to force me back in the other direction almost so we got that and the government just won't stop it uh, directly after the film i done sick cunt you fucking lost your life shouted by that person in that van believe it or not and a crow going ha 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 repeatedly after I am done it um, obviously it stopped can't get the evidence but it was doing it Sirens done in a deliberate way. Let me see if I can get the evidence. It's happened five times. Five times like that. Um, seems to be deliberate. They're away from where I am. It's a bit faster than the one they were using like just now. But I have done it again in some form of way. I have to leave it there. Uh, Trying to take a picture of an old building and the sun's mangling it up and also the people's corrupt mood being controlled in a cursed way around me is basically stopping me to take a picture of an old building. So I can't go any further than that because uh, I'm completely stuck with this cro crooked hell bent force about that, uh, twisted and screwed up and the hell bent broken backwards against me. There we are, the sun's come out to stop me getting a picture of that building there. Uh, looks like the creator god's uh, fallen fucking sick um, and a corrupt, cruelty bastard. And there's someone in a car there that's also photographed me, but I can't get the um, evidence of what the registration plate is because um, it's on the photo on this camera. Uh, now we have another person that's uh, photographed me. I mean, this person's coming over. I don't know what he's coming over for, but um, basically the government is stopping me get photographic evidence of a building because they're causing the sun to come out. So now it's starting to rain, so if I can get this picture, I can. It'll be the first time ever that the sun's gone in for me to photograph the picture. Hello? All right. You all right? Uh, yeah. Do you have a license? A what? A license. 
No, I don't have a license, do I? This is private land. Oh, is it? And there's signs on every gate. I didn't come up through that way, I came up through that way. I know you did, you walked, you saw me and you walked across. So you've got to go back right to the corner and right. then follow the signs, all right? And where'd you get a license from? Simmons and Samson, the estate agents. And how much is that? £60 a year, three, five pound a month. Alright, thanks. Alright. Right, so I've just been told off obviously about just under half an hour ago um, for trespassing on the field. Uh, it's exactly the same spot I got told off two years ago, but I was desperate in need of wanting to take a picture of something I didn't manage to get very good two years ago because the sun came out. Well, that problem has occurred again. I've checked the photo that I took, and um, unfortunately, there's not so much a sun, but the focus was out, and I couldn't retake the picture because obviously that woman was telling me off for trespassing. I've been told off seven times for trespassing, four times in 2021, two times in 2022, which is the early part of 2022, and obviously the others were 20, late 2021, and obviously this time in October 2023. There's been no trouble since, and it is basically well over a year since I've even passed that area. I've only ever been up there twice and both times I've been up there I've been told off uh, where this lady's been trying to tell me off so no I haven't bought um, any um, license agreement to go through which is 60 quid but I don't tend to go up there you know I just wanted to chance that one off and obviously I was unlucky it's a bit like when I'm they're timing all my enemies in my path timing setups or anything like that timing people to say they're going to knife me down or smash me in or mistaking me as a child rapist, mistaking me as Liam of Savannah, taking photographs of me causing a load of trouble when I got in a mass. You can't stop it because the government are controlling my movement and got noetic science to control everything I do and to cause all these problems to occur persistently. It's something you just have to put up with. You've got to put up with it. I have it every single day. It's, they're trying to rip me to pieces and trying to destroy me the best they can. So you've just got to try and live and get through it. They want to take the piss out of me being sexually abused as a child. They've stopped me getting sex all my life by using this criminal, criminal crooked force against me. They want me to fuck people that rape me as a child, as I said. They want me to get the ins and outs of the people that rape me as a child. They want me to want Jesus to come out of me by forcing the Jesus' spirit out of me, fucking me as a child. It's the way the government wants it. There's nothing I can do about it. They want me sexually ripped to pieces, destroyed and nailed as a sick cunt. And obviously today set up is just saying I'm fucking sick as fuck because I won't find your granny or face that looks like sick off the floor to lose virginity over. It's as simple as that, nothing I can do about it. But anyway, I was polite to the lady because obviously, you know, it's her private property. And I explained the situation and left it there. So there we are. We've got these fucking tarantula rainstorms again. So once that blue sky and sunshine's gone, you've got to put up with bloody tarantula rains. Just bloody stay on. Just started. Um, this SD card that I'm, um, with all the issues that I've got today has just decided to almost pack up. So I decided to put it in the other camera because the other camera I got, it, it takes the same type of card as this. And um, they seem to work okay. And when I put it back in there, it works okay. So if there is any issues and the data gets wiped off, there must be a reason why the government want it wiped off or the elite are causing the car to break at this specific time. As you can see, They've almost torrential, it's not torrential, it's heavy, but the torrential borders are getting absolutely soaked. In a minute it'll be blue skies and sunshine, they keep on doing it. They're splitting up this cloud to cause it to be blue skies and sunshine or torrential rain. I don't know how the government are doing it, but they just want to cause floods and cause problems and cause people to get wet with a stupid weather pattern and to, and to cause people to get heat stroke in the summer by causing it to be sunny every day. If you go to the top of there, that's private property. And I've just been told a few minutes ago um, that even though this is a public footpath now, it's being made private. Black sexual car time, then blue. That needs to be hit out black and blue, knife to the fucking floor. The government are just going absolutely crazy. I'm that grey, white. First way around this time, and then there's a like white. Um, try to cut me up. Got to try and hit me off. You see, the government attempted to hit me off because they want me choke slam to be slap, uh, ripped to pieces in my next life. 
boner, it's a bike. Grey white. Black and blue. The drains hit over, black and white. Set. Grey white. Or whatever colours. The government wants me to shut my fucking mouth completely by putting rough people uh, to buckle what I want to say. So you can say the sun comes out and they're angling loud pipes to erections and about 400 cars tied in black and blue, sick by red, white cat, platinum pattern and sexual. Those two people are set behind loudly that they're going to smash me and this time with a HIV needle, but you know, that's the way the government need to set it up.